Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and in this video, let's take a look at um, how we can set a chat name for a client Okay, so basically when you start your um, Node.js chat application here, we want to be able to set a chat name or a username for the currently um, browsing client, okay? So what we need to do is, let's go to our index.html and modify the HTML a little bit So just before chat messages here, I'm going to paste in a little bit of snippets Okay, so I'll just come here and paste that in and let's format it a little bit. So now let's go to our browser here and refresh. As you can see, we have a little text box here that we can use to set um, our username. Okay, so let's go to our main.js and set in some event handlers for when that form is submitted. That is this here. It is a form. Actually, it's just a text input field and a submit button here. Okay, so let's cache um, those two input fields and the button there so by saying chat username which is going to be the username um, okay so next let's just say chat use chat name indicator that is um, this here that says current username basically okay so that is where our username will be displayed by default uh, for now it's empty uh, so let's just say select that by saying dollar sign dot current username. Next, let's cache the um, submit button. So username submit equals to dollar sign. So let's just do dot username submit. And finally, let's do username fill. Equal to dollar sign dot username that is this input field here okay that has a class of um, username and this other one has a class of username submit so we save that so let's come to um, on the need here and we're gonna have, have to add in another event handler so we're gonna have to do socket dot on connection so anytime, uh, actually not on connection, dot on connect. Anytime that um, this socket here has connected. So when we do a var socket equals to IO, and we're calling that, after connecting to the server, this callback will be called here, okay? So I'm just going to close that out here. And inside there, we're gonna have to do a check to see if a cookie with a chat username has been set. So let's do if, and this cookie function here is available because we included this jQuery.cookie library. Okay, so let's do if dollar dot cookie, and then which cookie are we checking for? We say node chat username. So if that exists, we want to say chat username, which is this variable that we created here, but we haven't assigned anything to yet. We want to say equals to dollar dot cookie. That is with retrieving the cookie from um, the browser cookie, and we're saying. The name of the cookie is no chat username so that is if the cookie is set so if it's not set we're gonna have to create a new cookie so let's say chat username equal to anonymous and then we just append a new date time there okay so let's say new date and then we say um, get time okay so that will give us a unique string if the user has not said anything and finally let's just save that back into the cookie let's say dollar dot cookie so basically this dollar dot cookie here if you call it with one parameter like this it's retrieving if you call it with two you are setting so i'll show you what i mean by that so let's do no chat username and let's say chat username okay so this time we're setting the chat username but remember the first time we're just retrieving it okay so you pass one argument you retrieving you pass into your setting so let's say chat username indicator dot text is going to be the chat username okay okay so last but not the least let's add an event handler for this um, button here so anytime that the user clicks on this username submit we want to um, set the chat name to whatever <coughs> is inside this input field here so let's add an event handler to say um, username submit but on click we're gonna call it um, this event handler here okay so let's say dollar dot cookie 
and um, what we want to set it to we want to set the node chat username to um, the value that's in the text field there so since the text field we have um, cached it by saying username um, field dot file so we're getting whatever is in there and then we're setting the chat username indicator again to whatever we just um, stored inside this cookie so let's say dot text um, username field dot um, var okay so let's go back to the browser and then we refresh as you can see now we have anonymous um, this as the username so now let's submit here by saying uh, let's say Jake and set that as the username so now when I refresh Jake is the username here okay so likewise for the Firefox browser when I refresh now we have a default um, username because we have not set anything now let's just say um, Alex set it as the username now when i refresh alex will be the default username okay so now when we send messages to the server we're going to store them um store the username as alex okay so that brings us to the end of this video um in the next video let's see how we can set the chat name on the server anytime we've sent a message okay i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye